Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 22nd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our amazing sun, and man, is it is putting on an amazing show. That plasma filament in the southwest region, bottom left-hand corner, did destabilize rip away and fall back into the sun creating a massive tsunami across the surface look at the last 48 hours incoming we do have those large sunspot groupings turning in very bright and active multiple c-class earth facing solar flares today instantly being affected geomagnetic activity sitting at one right now looking at the last 48 hours outgoing No major events to talk about. But that large plasma whip from the southwest region did produce a CME. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, the last 48 hours of events. Watch that plasma filament rip away and fall back into the surface. Creating a massive tsunami. We've also got an earth-facing coronal hole right now. Pretty complex region as it is just in front of that large sunspot grouping. There's five sunspots in that northern bright region there. All together right now, we have nine Earth-facing sunspots. You can see them all here pointed out. Considering we had zero about four or five days ago, that's quite an uptick. Backside of the sun has been very busy and it is now showing what's been going on multiple sunspot region grouping up another look here at those regions in motion geomagnetic activity sitting at a minor geomagnetic storm impacts real-time solar wind coming in at 546 kilometers per second that is elevated thanks to the coronal hole wind stream and as well amongst other space weather events Solar X-ray flux in a heightened sea range right now, 192 SFU. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP5 earlier this morning. Having a look at the DRAP absorption map, showing all the cosmic energy penetrating our magnetosphere. Elevated X-ray flux. Big time over the Pacific Ocean. Doesn't surprise me, we have a now earthquake swarm at Hawaii. Looking at the aurora forecast for the northern hemisphere, as we will be affected tonight. Look up, my friends and family across Canada and the northern U.S. Big time northern lights tonight. Especially through Alaska. Having a look at the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. Showing the space prediction spiral here. We are the little green circle on the right-hand side of the energies leaving the sun. Iswa space prediction spiral showing that CME taking off towards us, but it looks like it's going to miss us. May get a glancing blow or enhanced solar wind stream from the already incoming last event. Sun is putting on quite a show here for Solar Cycle 25, to say the least. Having a look at Alaska 2, showing two days worth of space energy. Leaving the sun, big CME coming off from the Southern Hemisphere. And as well, multiple active events coming from the cresting in sunspot regions. Look at that. That's a bad boy. Thank God it was not in a direct Earth-facing fashion. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we did see an uptick. Started out here with a 6.7 early this morning. A Vanuatu earthquake, 40 kilometer depth, as well as 6.0 earthquake in Tobilo, Indonesia, 102 kilometer depth. Minor activity through Papua New Guinea, New Britain. No deep earthquakes through Fiji region. Increasing seismicity across Hawaiian Island, mostly the Southeast Rift. Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands, reporting a 4.3. A 
as well minor seismicity increasing through Alaska and northward and as well across the North American plate Ferndale, California reporting a 3.3 today activity seismicity coming back to the Puerto Rico 4.0 there north of Puerto Rico 4.8 earthquake here Peru, Ecuador border and as well just recently this is the deepest earthquake past 24 hours 201 kilometer depth 4.4 Argentina, Salta, Argentina. Quiet across the African plate and European plate. Southeast Asia, pretty quiet as well. But literally, USGS is reporting just about 300 earthquakes. 24-hour period, 298 to be exact. Most of these earthquakes occurring across the Hawaiian island. As across Hawaii, they're reporting was it 62 earthquakes and a lot of them coming off of southeast region southwest region of Kilauea volcano looking across the US continual seismicity around San Francisco Bay area as well notable activity here west of Yellowstone and minor activity up into the Pacific Northwest Small swarm still occurring here at White City, New Mexico, Menton, Texas border. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And take a quick moment to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to smack that like button. I really appreciate all of the love and support to the channel recently. And welcome all new family members. Welcome to the most amazing and loving community on YouTube. Hashtag do crew, hashtag no fear here. So again, thank you for watching. Heads up, West Coast, North America, I still think something is coming. And we certainly haven't seen enough deep, ac deep earthquake activity here over the last few days since that very deep earthquake, Marianas Trench. Now let's get to Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Dakono in Indonesia. Popo in Mexico, Fuego, Guatemala, Semeru, Indonesia, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Mayan in the Philippines, Sangay in Ecuador. There's a lot of volcanoes getting updated all in the past three hours. Lots of flood alerts. Got Sabancay in Peru, as well as Reventador in Ecuador. And that's about it for today. So we've got about nine volcanoes getting updated in seismicity, activity, and eruptions. Having a look at satellite imagery here, big system off the coast of Africa and as well extreme weather shooting across Argentina north towards Brazil border, overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Extreme weather across the Northern Territory of Australia and Northeast regions, as well monsoonal rains starting to develop through Indonesia. Watch for flash floods across Northwest regions of Africa, and then multiple lows here affecting most of Europe, gray and cold days coming to you. Now let's have a look at the sulfur dioxide map. This is a forecast model for three days, still showing a large SO2 plume coming from Uluan, volcano eruption. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Notable players through Italy, of course, Etna, Stromboli, and then across North America, South America, notable Popo in Mexico, big eruptions over the last 48 hours. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by windy.com. Next major systems to affect Canadian soil, low pressure center heading up towards Atlantic provinces and as well, Colorado low developing here, long range forecast. Three to four days from now, could see that system quickly jot northward and then big system here for the West Coast, 
and coupled with some cold temperatures as well, could see some heavy snowfall across the Pacific Northwest, United States, and as well through BC region. Overlooking Africa and Europe, strong low pressure centers and multiple low pressures forecast here, about three or four of them to join forces right over Europe. You could see a pretty extreme weather event in this long range through the Mediterranean. Heads up and stay tuned. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, Southeast Asia and Australia. Multiple low pressure systems affecting Australia and then eventually sweeping off the continent towards New Zealand in the long range. Does not seem to be much of a change coming towards you guys. Another low moving in. Overlooking the west coast, still some pretty large low pressure centers heading towards the Aleutian Islands and Alaska through the Bering Strait. Lots of snow falling in the north. Still abnormally warm across eastern Canada. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.